Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues using the sub mod for Old World Blues, the Blue Rose rework in which we're playing as the Zetan Empire, led by Commander Zeno. But we're from outer space, if you didn't know, with no description for the folk uh, for the focus. So we get some guardian drones, which would be nice. We could gather their survivors. Or we get some help from above. But right now we're at war with the Blue Rose Society because, well, we are uh, well, we want to be a little crazy here. So um, we have one template. Heavy robots, guardian drones, and we've got a decent amount of armor, but we'll see what happens as we are going to be expanding out because at, in this video, um, these guys are at war with Iron Alliance. We want to spread, 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 beat up all the enemy divisions, take as much as we can. Um, but we have no factories, and we're going to be struggling here probably. Oh, Zen. Oh. Resistance target, resistance decay speed, damage garrisons, no compliance gain. Ew. Default occupation. Well, hopefully, don't get too much resistance and whatnot. But um, additionally, like this is going to be a giant struggle for us, just because our guys are are okay. They're not great. Also, we're suffering from a lot of supply issues. Um, and we can't do if we can't win here. Well, that's just because. Well, they can probably pierce us, and we'll have to modify this just a little bit because it's not going great for us. But we'll make sure that we do okay in the end. But with the national spirits, advanced power uh, management. We have interstellar invaders, which is, is good and bad at the same time. We lose so much political power and monthly population. And appeal to refugees and resources to market, but we can go to war really quickly. That's cool. And then we have the aftermath of the crash, which is not great, but not bad as well. Um, so we'll be doing some from outer space, gather yeah, survivors, help from above. Ooh, silent hunters. Salvage everything. A lot better for resources and efficiency gain. More weapons, as well as doing a little bit more firepower. Now we totally did not use cons commands to make sure that we did okay in the end. Um, going into the future here, we'll see how we do. Uh, we're doing some hundred right now, but we're gonna have to add a kind of our divisions because our guy's just not very good against a lot of these guys. But we're salvaging everything we can. We get better weapons and more firepower, of course. But uh, currently. Uh, we need help from above. The Zeton Empire spends wide and far throughout the galaxy, therefore it calls for assistance with, de with defeating the humans will not go unanswered. However, in search of a remote corner of the galaxy, we can only expect limited aid. We can request soldiers. Ooh. Uh, we get plus 30 weekly manpower, uh, once it'll say or once we're done with this. Um, that's pretty good. Actually, plus 60, that's not bad. Request robots to get 200 more things of Guardian Drones, and then get request more factories when removed. Um, that's not bad. Add three off-map workshops. kind of like that one the most. Because we could really use more. Uh, so, so, hunters. Ooh, mind control. That's not plus 50%. Uh, let's do that one. Because right now we have three factories. We need more of this. Uh, advanced special forces kits and. Kit, huh. Why do we have both? That's 13 armor, 13 piercing. These guys have what? Four armor, four piercing. Well, that's not as good. So. We might use it. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I like better robots, but in the meantime, we can use our political power, which is not very much, and just find these guys and see how well we do. We don't get, like, no political power in general right now, which kind of really sucks. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, we'll deal with it. Um, no other conscription level. We get plus 10 weekly manpower, which is nice. What is this? Recruitable population. Uh, monthly growth. Not much. Um, yeah. We have everyone for the war machine and a cup of double spice chai black tea. Hopefully. Fall flag staff. Well, Kaiser's Legion is probably going to go bye bye. Um, Spearmen. Well, let's see how well we do here. We do have some infantry. Um, let's see. We are li missing a lot of robots, which shouldn't be an issue once we get enough military factories because we, resource wise, we're doing quite well, I would say. Uh, but you never know. Yeah, we got plenty of resources. Plenty of resources, but just how much depends on how much they can pierce us. Can they beat us? They might be able to. Maybe, maybe not. Can you guys do this? Can they pierce our armor? Oh, yeah, they can't pierce our armor in general. It's not good. It's quite not ideal, I'd say. But it looks like we're still beating him up. The last patrol, maybe? Next? Ooh. More weapons are nice. More firepower. Organize the army. Um, that's not bad. I actually... I'll go with that one right now. It's good for army XP, pretty much. It is 2283, so a lot of these guys should be fairly developed. Do we get any more generals? Mind control? Well, we could really use another actual field marshal. Um, 
citations? No citations, so we're promoting no matter what. Can we use that guy as a leader? Commander Hall. Probably could, yeah. Inspiration no matter what. And so get that. More organization is always nice too. So start learning how to do best. Ooh, they actually defeated us there, huh? Manpower 114 versus 1, 1,500. Not bad, not bad. Die blood, we're running it. Oh, they're out of manpower, which is good. Very, very good. Um, it's just one gigantic grind. You're learning a lot, Desert Fox. They are infantry, which is not great. So we'll see. Also, technology-wise, we only... Oh! I guess we can't research anything. Because early on, we were, we were able to research, but I guess not anymore. Yeah, these, are, these guys struggle a lot. I mean, the division template's not terrible. It's just not great. The armor is not great. The guardian drones are okay. Honestly, the humanoid robots you get as the Blue Rose Society in the submod, this submod, is much better than what we have right now. Because these guys struggle. Oh, they're fighting the Cypher Warband now. Oh. Oh, a little bit of lag. UFOs, ground attack eight. That's not bad. I just wish we'd get more political power that way. Uh, request better weapons. It'll be coming. Energy weaponry. That's not bad. Pistols. Uh, we could probably use this. We could manpower. It's not that much more manpower. In all honesty, it's not great. Let's get some more drones. You know, I prefer to get more political power. Uh, you lose a little bit of attack and speed, but you get more organization and better attrition, better stability. Which is nice. But fortunately, we're out of manpower. I feel like we should be getting more army speed than what we're currently getting. It doesn't seem very much at all. We do have six arms factories, which is not bad. Can't build anything, but whatever. Their downfall, nice. Well, they can't replace any of their losses. <coughs> this is one of the favorite starter runs of where we hopefully we'll be able to take enemies out, but you never know. Now, point one three is not very good at all. Air support mission efficiency, air attack, and agility. Air experience gain goes way down. And then we'll do mind control as well. Better encryption, decryption. So now, what do we have for bonuses and debuffs? We have an organized army. Okay, that's not bad. You get more attack and organization. Overall, that's pretty decent. Can't complain too much about it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Literally just die there. Pretty good. We've lost 5,000, which is insane. We've not actually lost so many guys. It's a good way to get equipment from just taking other out enemies and whatnot, too. Um, let me try the Withered Dogs. The Withered Hounds. Well, I'd like to, but we have no political power. Oh my god, so bad. Only cost two political power, which is fine, but train more technicians. Okay, so you get more factories. And get Chief Engineer Lorak, which gives you better consumer goods and factory output. Or we get enslave the humans. A new occupation law gives us access to some manpower and factories, which we can honestly use, or destroy them all. Every state we take will be turned into a core state, we'll lose all of its population. Honestly, we can use that manpower. We only get ten every month. Huh, enslave them. Turn into a core state with all of its population. So you get no manpower. You get no manpower, which you do get plus 10, which is not much, but we don't need very much. I would like to get rid of these guys for more robots, but you know, still. Oh, this might be a little difficult to do. Let's save real quick. Would we be able to do anything here? Ah, honestly, we're getting defeated pretty heavily. Um, they can pierce us somewhat, and we're losing, so 
Overall, not great for us right now, but we'll see what we can do. And, just and now, when we're looking at how much damage six or seven uh, our, of our planes can do to an enemy, which we just got to war with the good old folks at the Baggers, um, the game's very laggy, though. Uh, we haven't lost that many guys right now. We're trying to get more uh, manpower, but... Also, we did choose to destroy all humans. So every state we take will turn into a core state, but we pretty much literally killed everybody. And you didn't see it, but like everyone started embargoing us. So I guess you don't they don't like it when you kill everybody off. Go figure. A, a, a casual genocide, people don't like for some reason. Uh, but we're doing okay, you know. Overall, it's not bad. The goal is, I'll probably use constant commands in the end. Repair the bridge teleporter. The bridge is where the most important part of the ship. It's a place where the captain and the main teleporter are located. Teleport is essential to keeping contact with the rest of the fleet and getting supplies, which would be pretty nice. Um, as we're trying to destroy these guys, our ship has suffered greatly after its crash. We're going to seek to restore its vital system into working order. First, we need to gather components that have been scattered all over the wasteland. Uh, we have a uh, robot assembly and repair it. The robot assembly is a place where we manufacture combat robots. It's vital for war waging cap capabilities. Repair the laboratory. The laboratory is where our scientists conduct experiments and test researchers. Oh. The living quarters, huh? Crew living quarters are where our soldiers and crewmen live their lives. They're severely important for morale and well-being of our crew, which is not bad. That's actually very good. But that's very far away. All under the NCR. Holy crap. And then, oh, there they go, the baggers. Good. Goodbye, baggers. Uh, let me do that, too. Get them on the line. It's fine. Nope. A little bit, quite a bit of lag, actually. Quite a bit of lag, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Oh, well. Um, let's see. Death Ray Control. Oh, man. Look at that. <coughs> the Death Ray is the main weapon of our ship. It is its purpose is to destroy anything and anyone in range. At that, it is best in the galaxy. Sadly, the one we have is severely damaged even after repairs. We'll only allow after a few shots maxed. So, right now, we get more manpower. We don't really need that. We could get our new drones. We're going to grab this one. Common energy weapons, because why not? That's pretty decent to get. Embargo by Black Canyon. At this point, you will become a robotics expert. And see what we can do. They immediately start attacking us, which is fine with us. Um, hopefully they can't pierce us too much. Hopefully our planes will be able to deliver a good hefty amount of damage. We're getting more planes, which is very good. Oh, that's not ideal. How would you force the fence? You're not allowed to lose. They're racking up the casualties, and we're kind of by ourselves, but still. You want to start attacking yourself? That's fine too. So we come over here as these guys. Can we, can we do this? Yes, we can. Supply usage goes down a little bit. That's ideal. Quite ideal, I'd say. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Definitely still struggling. I would like to throw uh, like light uh, robots on these guys. We'll get them more organization, anyways. Anyhow. I'm not sure that's really possible, so. Doing all right here? Yes, we're making more. We're doing more uh, damage, which is awesome. Hey, another second one, nice. Oh, it wasn't a second one, god dang it. You dunderheads. Oh wow, look, more political power, look at that. Mothership Central, get more army XP, but we're gonna grab, not this, but we're gonna grab political mastermind for more political power. Hopefully we can edit things too here. No outsiders, that makes sense. Actually, can we change that? We can go outside of battalions. Wouldn't make any sense to get more manpower. Did the command compliance gain too, maybe. Would be necessarily a bad thing. It's definitely a little still a little bit of a oh, they have volunteers. A little bit of a grind here. The biggest thing is we're just missing a lot of robots. Even though we have a crap ton of factories. That's why we went to enslave everybody. So we'd have enough. But even then, we'd make roughly 30 a day, and it's still not enough. Chug water. Come on, chug baby. Oh, do you actually? Oh, we can actually make more stuff here, huh? Cool. Let's build, you know. Plenty of stuff to build. Oh, we're out of map part two. It's not ideal. We have to get more manpower. We could have got more manpower. We didn't destroy all humans. We could have enslaved them, probably. But we get a decent amount of weekly manpower. But 
Ah, we're over here too. That's nice. Will, will we ever build all this stuff? Probably not. That's okay with us too. Oh, hello. Oh, you got an upgrade. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, drunk rounds. We're gonna get more attack. Let's get more attack. 4,000 manpower losses. They still have manpower left? Nope. We don't either, but still. Still bomb the crap out of them? Yeah, we lost quite a few ships or planes, though. Which does kind of suck. But oh well. Weekly manpower? Sure, why not? What matters is destroying them. Yeah, yeah. It's just one big old grind. So. What do we have here? So over here, we could grab Captain Carell, which is not bad, but I'll probably go this one because he gets more weekly mapper, which we could really use. Um, nothing for here, here, here. Military Quartermaster. War of the Worlds, which makes sense, but we don't really need that. Um, that's not bad. What is max planning factor? Maybe how fast we get it and circumvent penalty goes down. Surrender element's okay. Reconnaissance expert is probably the one we want to do. This guy, Central Mothership Command, V9139, gives you more daily army, or just more army XP gain. Nothing, anything, not any more daily. This guy's not bad. More energy's good. Um, engineer's very good as well. Over here, Interstellar War Veteran's not bad. You lose political power, but you get way more army XP gain and good amount of local resources. And we have Victoria Flyers, which is pretty standard. Pretty standard naval designers. Pretty standard vehicle designers. Um, and all the normal stuff over here, too. So that, It just takes a while to take all these guys out. Which kind of sucks, honestly. Um, nope. I don't want infantry anymore. So in the meantime... I'll come down. Oh, you guys can all do that. Oh, well. That's not ideal. Yeah. That makes it just a little bit more difficult. Not, and we got more map art too, though, which is good. Come right there. So we're minus 3300, which is very bad. Which we can do this to make it up. What is this? Adva oh, advanced energy weaponry. But do we really even need that when we have Zeton robots? No, we don't. So there's no point in having it. Actually, are we out of fighters? Maybe not. Because these guys are pretty decent. They can do air superiority. Eh, which we probably should do. So we have a mixture of both. So if we do this, we justify. It takes 10 days. Overall, not bad. Gummy Desert Fox is pretty good, too. Um, looking pretty decent, though. Pretty decent. There's a lot of stuff going on around here. And Texas is going to kill these people off, too. Over the Rio Grande, not bad, not bad, not bad, as we try to go to war too. Oh man, they got a lot of guys here, so we're probably going to struggle and probably lose this war. But we'll probably end up using comms commands in the end. And about three days left, they're embargoing us, they got a lot of buffs. Forty-four a day and it's still not enough. We did this, they immediately start attacking us, and we'll probably start losing immediately. Which does suck quite a bit, so. Um, in the meantime, I do want to see what it's like when you uh, get everyone done and do, and do unfinished business. Commander Keen uh, of the Zeton Star Armada has been trapped on Earth since the ship crashed in New Mexico. The United States captured and imprisoned him soon after his arrival in Area 51 and being built on his prison, so ensuring that Keen can never escape and threaten America. And once again, totally didn't use any sort of cons commands, it's repairing everything and everything is dead. Because we took them over. Because we did, yeah, totally didn't. But apparently, uh, using human test subjects is common practice among our scientists for over two, mil two, mil two millennia. I can't speak. Yeah, we were never able to gain access to a large quantity of them due to the risk of contaminating our work. Now that we've established a more permanent presence on Earth's surface, we should be able to extract a much higher rate and increase our productivity ex exponentially. Genetic experimentation. Ooh. Genetically engineered soldiers are the dream of many of our scientists. Sadly, the creation process is not yet optimized, and often the subjects end up deforming abhorrent. Yet, even in that state, they might still be feasible fighters. 70% chance of Zetan warriors, 30% chance of crates abominations. 
uh, knowledge extraction experiments. While well, they are less intelligent than us humans, still possess valuable information at times. Extracting these will aid us greatly in our clashes with them. Okay, so basically, uh, from what I'm seeing is that if you play as this nation, you're going to struggle early on. The divisions that we have are not great. Eventually, as you build up your industry more and you get more factories and maybe more manpower, you're going to be able to uh, like start snowballing even harder to do very well. So, um, oh, we must have gotten abominations or something. Uh, what is this? Oh, we got, oh, Zeton Warriors. Oh, so we got the infantry. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow, oh, whoa. We got pl mass drivers and plasma rifles? Oh, probably because we took stuff over anyways. It's not bad, but I'll take their manpower. So we got Zeton Warriors, 7%. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I totally didn't use Gons commands for this. Totally didn't. So... Oh, let's see. Well, oh, we, oh, this time we actually did get abominations. So this, these are ghouls. So, oh no, super mutants. Super mutants. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. So that's interesting. Twelve combat with soft attack is not bad. Defense is pretty decent. Breakthroughs okay. That's interesting. I'd rather just much. I'd much rather just use robots throughout. Um, so that's just at least me. Elite energy. Ooh. So this time, what do we get? Abominations. Oh, that's nice. And they're like really experienced. That's actually really cool. So, I just wanted to see what the Zeton Empire would be like here. I mean, obviously, this is just. Oh, look at this. Commander Kain. Uh, oh, the Zeton Star Armada has been trapped on Earth since a ship crashed in New Mexico. How did the United States fail to neutralize them after, like, the, uh, the neutralize them? A branch of the now long, long now corporation offered to build a containment vessel for him. Area 51 would have ended up being built around this prison to ensure that Kain can never escape and threaten America. So, that's really cool. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't have used Khan's commands um, if uh, we had, like, a unique focus tree that was a little bit longer, that told, told more of the story. Wow, I just wanted to see what this would be like um, overall. I like this option, too. It's, it's actually really, really, really cool. But, uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed what the, the small content there was for the Zeton Empire. I think there might be other mods or sub-mods for Old World Blues that has something like this as well. We start in Area 51 or something like that. If there is, please let me know in the comments below. But, oh, wow. How, how strong is it? Disintegrator. Common energy weapons. Pulse energy weaponry. Um, stuff that isn't bad. More piercing reliability is decent, though. That's pretty decent overall. But, uh, I think we're probably going to end it there because there's not much really else for us here. So, <clears throat> If you enjoyed the shorter than normal video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, let me know what else some mods I should use as we continue on with our Old Rob Blues A to Z series, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, great, great Zetan, or Zetan, or Zetan, rest of your day.